Hello, Victor Tay from the church in Liverpool. Do unborn babies have human rights in Australia? If you didn't know, New South Wales is about to pass a law officially decriminalising abortion and allowing late-term abortions up until birth with just the signatures of two doctors. And not only did they reject an amendment to prohibit sex-selective abortions, you know, that's when you kill your baby just because of its gender, they also rejected an amendment to say that if an abortion procedure failed to kill the baby, and for some reason it was born alive, it can just be left to die. I mean, if that doesn't make you sick, I don't know what will. And they called it the Reproductive Health Care Reform Bill. There's been a lot of talk from the abortion side, the pro-abortion side, saying it's about women's reproductive rights, women's health choices, my body, my choice, human rights, right? But what about the human rights of the unborn child? I mean, it's a bit nonsensical to argue that the baby's body living inside of the woman's body is just another one of her body parts, like an elbow or a lung. I mean, what other body part has a totally different DNA, has its own limbs, organs, and is potentially a different gender? Then it grows up, detaches from her, argues back, gets a job, gets married, and possibly develops body parts of their own that go on to do the same. Surely they can't be that ignorant. So why are the ones so adamant about human rights not granting those same rights to the child inside the womb? You know, I was curious to see whether Australia being part of the UN had signed onto any human rights declarations and whether any of those mentioned the rights of unborn children. And I was pretty surprised to find this paragraph in the Australian Human Rights Commission Act 1986, Schedule 3, under Declaration of the Rights of the Child, it says, Whereas the child, by reason of his physical and mental immaturity, needs special safeguards and care, including appropriate legal protection, before, before, as well as after birth. So Australia's own federal human rights declaration recognizes the unborn as a child in the womb with human rights. So this would include the right to life, according to Article 3 of the UN's Universal Declaration of Human Rights, and that their human rights must have legal protection and special safeguards above and beyond the norm. Now, I'm no human rights lawyer, so maybe I'm misapplying this. So let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'll put all the relevant links in the description as well. But please pray for New South Wales. We're the last state in Australia to not allow the murder of innocent babies up till birth. And this bill has already passed the lower house and it's being debated in the upper house this week. So we only have until midnight tonight to make a submission to let our senators know, our state senators know, what we think about the bill. Right to Life New South Wales has organized another protest in the city next Tuesday night, the 20th of August at 6 p.m. I'll be there with my family and I hope you'll join us.